Alrighty, uh, in this video, we're going to add just some very basic functionality to our menu. So what I wanted to do is I, where we have this exit button, I wanted to say pause, resume, and exit, all kind of in the same row. So pause is going to just stop the cheat kind of entirely. Well, not entirely, it's just going to pause it so it's not drawing anything or doing anything. And uh, resume is obviously going to do the opposite of that. It's going to make sure it's running. And then exit does what it currently does, which just shuts it down entirely. So to do that, let's go over to where we draw, which is right here. So I want to draw two different buttons. So I'm actually going to copy this section and paste it twice. So the first one's going to be pause. Second one's going to be resume. Third one's going to be exit. So when pause is pressed, I'm going to go ahead and have some booleans here. So bool b cheat active equals true. I want to set b cheat active to equal false. When resume is pressed, b cheat active equals true. And pretty much what that's going to go about doing is when we actually pause it, Let's see, what do I want to do here? I'm just going to wrap this in a big old if statement. So if b cheat active, everything where we actually go through that performs the cheat, it's going to be in this block right here. So now if I run it, we have everything we need, except it's on three separate lines. So I hit pause. Stops it, hit resume, resumes it. Exit, obviously it exits. Uh, we want to make these on the same line. So the way we do that is after we draw the widget, we can do I'm GUI same line. So we're going to do that right after the pause and right after the resume. Press F5. And here we have it. We now have our widget set up. So pause resume, team, all that kind of stuff. And exit. So everything's working like that. Uh, let's still print out that C out. I'm going to get rid of it. Okay. So that's handled. Uh, one thing I do not like is the console window showing up. So I want to go ahead and actually get rid of that. So what I'm going to do is after our window gets created, right there, indicate that everything is hopefully okay. I'm going to do show window. Uh, we need, let's say, get, I think it's get console window. Yeah, get console window. And the command, oh, what is it? Uh, what's the buddy command? It's it's something. <laughs> Let me go look that up real quick. I can't remember what it is. All right, so it's SW underscore hide. So this line right here should hide our console window. Let's check it. Shows up, and then it's gone after we uh, our menu gets you know drawn, and it's completely hidden. So we don't have it in our taskbar, anything. It's just out of the way. So it's not even minimized. So we just or as if it doesn't exist. So this right here kind of just allows us to show and hide it. So out of curiosity, that makes me curious. I've never actually checked before. So when the button for... When we hit resume, I'm curious. I'm going to try to make it visible. SW underscore show. See what happens. Zoom. So we should still be able to draw everything out to the console. So that makes me curious. So for the uh, show menu, I'm just going to print out just as a test. Testing. Uh, when we pause it, I want to hide it. So SW hide. And when we uh, hit resume, I want to show it. 
If so, I'll make a little box for it. So resume. And now I should press insert. So it prints out once. I pause it. Come back. So I pause it. So it should be five. Okay, so it does, it keeps track of our outputs. So that's what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, instead I'm just going to have a little checkbox. So by default it's going to be a false because I want it to be hidden. So I'm going to do void uh, show console. Yeah, bool. Uh, yeah, b show console. We're going to do show window, get console window. And then it was, what was it? STW underscore hide. So we're going to do a check. So if b show console. I'll copy that. And it says to SW underscore show. So if we want to show the console, we show it. Otherwise, we hide it. Not doing anything in it. I can actually do this for most of these. And yeah, set them to constants. Oops, what happened? Okay, so now we want to call it. Uh, we'll set up the little widget to then call it. So I want to use this time to show you a combo box. So that might be better saved for a dedicated video. I'll post it actually probably almost immediately after this one because it's going to be relatively short. But in the next video, we're going to make use of this function and we're going to have a simple combo box. And so like when we click the little drop down, we can show either a hide or show console. And based off of that selection is what is going to happen with our console window. So it's, it's, it's simple. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video when we handle that. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below. That also contains a Patreon-only series for Unreal Engine 4 and C++ where we create a team deathmatch game mode along with a bunch of other miscellaneous features. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord as well. That's also linked below, and I'll try to help you out to the best of my abilities. So, I'll see you in the next one.